of Jesus. All my wealth in the hands of riches, in the hands of all court men, be recovered. Say suffer not the witch to live. <laughs> Lift your hand to heaven. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every coven, every coven, every witch cap coven, in charge of my case. Oh Lord, oh Lord, give me a legion of angels. of angels slaughtered 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 oh my father assign a legion of angels to any of you, all these your children including those who are watching on the internet lord almighty assign a legion of your angels to each one of them to fight our battles fight our battles enter the covenant slaughtered enter the covenant slaughtered enter the covenant Religion 
one of those angels visit that coffin, visit that occulting house, visit that witchcraft chamber, slaughter, scatter, slaughter, scatter, those outside, let the power of God go to your father's house, let the power of God go to your mother's house, go to every coven where you have been tied, I said be set loose, I said be set loose, I said be set loose. Oh yeah, begin to ask God to release you and your family. Oh Lord, my father, let your angels release me and my family. Let your angels release me and my family. Oh my father, oh my father, the mighty man in battle, the rock of ages, the beginning and the end. Let your mighty power set me free. Let your angels release my family. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody pray. This is your season. This is your time. This is land. Hear the word of God. 2020. All those who are tied in our courting houses, all those who are tied in witchcraft code, power of God, set them free. Angels of God, enter there. Legions upon legions of heavenly army, enter there. Set them free. 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 The most it's in the care. Calling in the most of the soul. You catch in the care. Calling in the care of the The power of God is setting you free. Aye, 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 aye. I said, be set free. Be set free. Be set free. All over this auditorium. Power of God. Inside and outside. All over the internet. Set them free. 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 Oppression kill witches. That is our topic. Oppression do what? Kill. Can I hear you shout it? Oppression. 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 Why? Why kill witches? Number one. They turn people away from the gospel. Acts chapter 8 verse 9. But there was a certain man called Simon which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria giving out that himself was some great one to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of God and to him they had regard because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorcery he bewitched them but when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Praise God. One wizard captured the entire Samaria. And they said, this man is the power of God. Not even that he has the power of God. Himself is the power of God. He was mesmerizing them. These are the same people that can get up and tell a man, your wife is a witch, divorce her, and the marriage will scatter. It will end there. Anything they say people do, because they are casting spells on them. We went to have a crusade at Nog, and um, one famous native doctor there. So the native doctor came to where I was preaching to somebody in the afternoon, and he was trying to oppose the gospel. He was trying to tell me that this is the hour of darkness. He was quoting the scripture upside down, where Jesus said, I was with you all this, why? Why didn't you touch me? But now is the hour of darkness. And he said, the, the, hour, the power of darkness rules now. I said, number one, Jesus said, all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. In heaven and on earth. I said, that one is the theory part. The practical is that you are going to go to Nog. Inside all of Nog. Go and gather ten more native doctors that are more terrible than you. You. Only you cannot stand Jesus. If I sing, you die. So go and bring ten more native doctors to back you up before I pray. He didn't say anything. Once I challenged him like that, he didn't say anything again. Somebody, the man he was trying to manipulate, now saw the native doctor the fear. He couldn't say anything. He said, Pastor, I will come to your camp. He came and led him to Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. When power meets with power, the smaller power will bow. Every power of darkness, every witchcraft power that has been harassing you, the Lord Almighty will humiliate them. Do you know these people can mess up the gospel? They can mess up a child of God and make the person look foolish. 
They can tie the business of a child of God. You'll be carrying Bible and singing praises. And every day the landlord will be knocking at your door to come and collect rent. They make a child of God look like a fool. Any witch or wizard trying to mock your God and release the judgment sword of the Lord to slaughter them. Slaughter them. Slaughter them. Number two. They sell destinies of individuals, families, and cities. They sell destinies. Witches and wizards sell destinies. Nahum. Nahum chapter 3, verse 4 and 5. Because of the multitude of the wardens of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that select nations through her wardens, that select nations through her wardens and families through her witchcrafts, that select nations through her wardens and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I'm against thee, say the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will shoot the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. They sell families. They sell any family that has been sold here. You are recovered in Jesus' name. They sell families to Satan. Anywhere a witchcraft power is very, very effective, tying people down, there is somebody in that family that is involved. Somebody around that family. Any witch, any wizard that needs to die in your family, for your family to make progress in this program, they shall die. In this program, they shall die. Whoever tied your success, whoever tied your marriage, whoever tied your fruitfulness, whoever tied your career, whoever tied your health, the soul of the Lord, slaughter them. They shall vomit blood and die. Number three reason why witches have to die. They kill and destroy mercilessly. They kill and destroy mercilessly. If you read in 1 Kings 18, verse 13, you see how that, that, that Jezebel single-handedly with, with the soldiers slaughtered many of the prophets of God. Massacred them, butchered them. Only Elijah was on the run. The other 50 and 50, 100, they were in caves. The rest of the people that worship God were massacred. By one woman which, which they kill. They set accidents. They give mysterious sicknesses. They put cancer. But any arrow they have sent against you shall go back to send an arm. Recently, there was this, um, this case. Somebody ignorantly thought, now, grandmother, now, I can't but others now suspected the woman not very terrible. Hundred and something years. If you are now a batch, batch, batch. Somebody will die. Somebody around her will die. She will recover. Have you seen, heard any such thing? Yes. They will not go to visit her. The person will die. Now and for batch, batch. Hundred and something years. So, a sister in this church, Mwamwe, ignorantly went and paid her a visit. She came back very sick. By the time you know it, an hour injection, an age of hospital, to no avail. Then she was brought to my office. And they told me what they are suspecting. I said, I don't call people's names. But any human being that is trying to use this girl, to exchange his or her own life. Today, as I release her, that person dies. Do you know that same week the woman died? Why you recover go? this is recover go. But suddenly she slumped and died. Any witch that is trying to use you to exchange their destiny, I decree by the sword of God in my mouth, they die in this program. They die in the 
this program. What is my counsel to you? Separate from sin and witchcraft related practices. Separate from sin and witchcraft related practices. Once there is sin in your life, the witches know. And they use that sin to trace you. Do you know that there are agents of the devil entering into churches to practice their witchcraft? In the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Because thou suffered that woman Jezebel. Which calleth herself a prophetess. To teach and to seduce my servants. To commit fornication. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Thou, because you allowed that woman Jezebel. Now this woman's name is not Jezebel. But the spirit of witchcraft. That was in Jezebel. The wife of her heart. Was operating in her. And God had to call her Jezebel. They use seduction. Run away from seductive dressing. Dress to kill. Immoral dressing. Those people are children. He said, I will kill her children with the sword. Children of Jezebel. Praise God. Repent. If you're a Christian, be a Christian. If you don't want to be a Christian, stop deceiving yourself. There is hellfire. There is heaven. There is no middle place. Show me where purgatory is in the Bible. Live your life for Christ. Now that you have opportunity. Separate from everything that is worldly. Praise God. You're here and you want to make peace with God. You want to be born again. You want to say to Jesus, please come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I don't want to perish in hell. I don't want to be lumped up together with witches. I refuse to be a child of Jezebel. Forgive me. Jesus, wash me clean. Can I see your hand up? I'll pray with you. You want to give your life to Christ? Raise that hand very well. Inside, outside. The Lord is looking for people that will be honest. People that will seek him. That will worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes, lift it very well. Put that hand to your chest and pray this prayer with, with me. Say in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. You died for my sins. You rose from the dead to wash away my sins. Jesus, please come into my heart. Be my savior. Be my Lord. I vow to serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of my life. Thank you, my father. Wash away my sins in Jesus name. I pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these ones. I ask that you forgive their sins. I ask that you write their names in the book of life. I ask that the yoke and the power of sin be destroyed in their lives. I take authority over Jezebelian spirits. I take authority over immoral spirits. I take authority over demons of seduction. I bind you and I command you, come out of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, cleanse them, sanctify them and give them the grace to serve you. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Join us every Sunday. We have two power pass services. First service starts 7.30 a.m. in the morning. Second service starts 9.30 a.m. Every Wednesday we have midweek service. School of Success. And it starts 4.30 p.m. Every Saturday we have a non-denominational service. People come from different churches. Pastors come from different denominations. And the time is 7.30 a.m. in the morning. As you come, remember that a miracle is waiting for you. The venue is Royal Priesthood Church Cathedral beside Public Borho Umike by UBA Uwaji of Zeke Avenue, Oka, Anambra State, Nigeria. You can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on Twitter handle and watch Pastor Wisdom Onyebuchi's messages live on YouTube. For more inquiries, you can call 081-4006-7698 081-4006-7698 or you can call 081-3585 Four seven six four zero eight one three five eight five four seven six four. Join us same time, same station next week. God bless you.